What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of the newest record from Sleeping With Sirens. This album is titled Madness, and it's the follow-up to 2013's record Feel, one that I was pretty mixed on. If you want to see my review of that, it's linked in the description down below along with my Facebook, Twitter, my vlog channel, what have you. I just posted a new vlog, so definitely make sure you go check that out, and of course, hit the like button on this review to let me know that you want them to keep flowing on a regular basis. And of course, Sleeping With Sirens is the chopping block item of the day. How am I feeling about this new record? What is this new sound that they're going for? Well, I will say right off the bat that they're going for a more pop friendly sound. I mean, definitely they went for a polished sound as a whole, I would say, on feel. But with this new album, I could definitely see some of these songs making it on the radio. Maybe just alternative, not necessarily like the top 40 or anything like that, because eh, I don't know, that would be kind of weird seeing Sleeping With Sirens there. But the track Gold is the first one that just really made me think that. Honestly, the first time I heard it, I was kind of confused by it. It feels like One Direction meets One Republic. I mean, both of their last records definitely had uh, some big, vibrant choruses and some channel-long lyrics and that sort of thing, but at the same time keeping some indie and 80s influences, and I feel like that really trickled in. I mean, I hear more acoustic guitars on this Sleeping With Sirens record than I really ever have, other than, of course, their acoustic record. I'm not really digging gold at all, but a lot of the times the catchiness is is an infectious and good thing. I take the track Go 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 for an example. That's one of the singles that was released from this thing and it's my favorite track on the album. It's just so punchy and it commands the listener's attention. I absolutely love that. It's one of those tracks that can remain super catchy, kind of mainstream friendly, can appeal to a wide audience, but incorporate uh, guitars, punching drums, and a loud bass line as well, and remain just a very good song. Kind of get a message across that seems like it's almost trying to be an anthem, but it's not in, like a cheesy way or anything like that. Now, unfortunately, I cannot say the same thing for some of these tracks, uh, because a few of them try really, really hard to connect with a certain target audience, uh, Kellen Quinn on the track uh, Better Off Dead, I feel like really tries to click with that uh, crowd that gets bullied, and I feel like that is one of the better songs on this record that really tries hard to connect. It doesn't feel super forced, and I do agree that that's a good message to continuously get out there. I mean, if you're being bullied, you want to get help, you want to find relief somewhere, you want to know that there were others that went through the same thing. So I do think that track is pretty good. It's just kind of formulaic musically. The Strays, however, is one that just does not do anything for me. It's talking about Kellen Quinn uh, kind of coming up, how his parents didn't really pay him up much attention, kind of coming into the world alone almost. It's not all down in the dumps and just trying to be super relatable though, not at all. That's not what I'm trying to get across here. In fact, some of these tracks do stick pretty hard. I mentioned Go Go Go, they hit hard, I guess I should say. Obviously, Kick Me and We Like It Loud are two of the singles that are going to be pleasing, I would say, longtime fans. Uh, they're definitely trying to move away from the post-hardcore label and even probably the hard rock label, it seems like. There are a few screamed moments here on this record, but they're kind of seldom. It might just be me, but I'm feeling like the tracks Kick Me and We Like It Loud are very similar. They don't do much to stand apart from each other. They're kind of like neck and neck. They're both like right here. I think I'm liking We Like It Loud a little bit more, but Kick Me just isn't doing that much for me. One of the sweeter moments on the record comes in Heroin. A couple of the slow tracks near the end, like November and Madness, just kind of try hard to pull at the heartstrings, and it just doesn't really pull any kind of emotion from me. However, Heroin is one that kind of managed to incorporate a few symphonic elements, it seems like. They did that on a few tracks, and I like that. It's a nice twist. I like that they're mixing things up, throwing in different instruments, of course, the acoustic guitars, some of the symphonic elements, and it made Heroin uh, definitely more attentive for me. It's something that I was actually tapping my foot along to and saying that even though that this is a track that feels like it's been written a few times before, it's a story that I'm still somewhat interested in. Say what you will about Kellen Quinn, to me, he's a pretty interesting singer. He does hit a lot of those high notes, and there were a few moments where I was just like, dude, tone it down, even for you. I mean, like, you are really stretching, you're really trying to belt it there, and it's just not happening. But for the most part, I've always found him to be a pretty intriguing singer. The scene bands, if you will, I hate to throw them under that category because I feel like they're trying to break away from that, but a lot of those bands just have very boring and very uninspiring vocalist. And I always felt like Kellen Quinn, uh, maybe even Pierce the Veil's vocalist, uh, Vic Fuentes, uh, they always kind of stood out because they brought some aggression and some emotion to the music. And I felt like they kind of left that out some of the time on feel, at least Kellen Quinn did. I felt like they kind of went for a less personal 
album. And here, they're kind of reeling things in, especially on tracks like Heroin that I'm really enjoying. Uh, they kind of become down to earth again and human. Save Me a Spark is one that I found really interesting. It was very surprising to me because it just has this massive soaring chorus on it. There's some uh, channel long vocals. Uh, the chorus is very memorable and vibrant in my mind. And one thing I noted is that it sounded very similar to me. It reminded me at least a lot of the last A Rocket to the Moon record before they broke up just because of the vocal harmonies. They're so rich on that track. I was not expecting it. But once again, it's one of those tracks where you sit back and you're kind of like, yeah, I could see this being a big hit for Sleeping With Sirens. Don't Say Anything is the final track that I'll mention from this record. It's got an odd pace about it, I would say, especially for a closing track. I thought they maybe would have taken it out on something slower like Madness, but that wasn't the case. I, like I said, I am coming around on it though, but it starts off with this kind of loud and in-your-face guitar line, and then it kind of chills out during its first verse. It's very somber, and then it goes for a more uplifting chorus before the guitar kind of kicks back in, and it just seems kind of brash to me, kind of a bold choice that doesn't exactly fit that well. Uh, overall on this record, I am pleased for the most part though with the instrumentals. I think that they did a solid job, especially since they have a new guitarist now. I thought that he stepped in, filled the role well, especially with there being some more acoustic guitars here on this album. But I will say this, the album doesn't exactly have a very good flow about it, especially if you're sitting down listening to it in one listen. I know a lot of people are going to cherry pick songs off of it, uh, maybe just take one or two songs. They like the harder ones, or they like some of the softer ones. But if you're sitting down listening to this thing from track one to 13, well, I gotta say that it could get quite frustrating for you just because it starts off kind of hard with a fast pace. Obviously, we get Kick Me and then the spirited Go, 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 very energetic and lively, and then the pace gets a little bit more mellow with Gold, Save Me a Spark, Fly. Uh, like I said, it just can get a little bit old to me, just kind of flip-flopping like that. Overall, though, I am pretty pleased with this new album from Sleeping With Sirens. I'm feeling a three out of five for their new album, Madness. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. The sleeping. I hope you guys enjoyed my Sleeping with Sirens Madness review. Let me know your thoughts on the album in the comment section down below. Don't forget to smash the like button on this review while you're down there, and consider subscribing to the channel if you do enjoy my content. Let me know what other albums I should cover in the coming weeks. I've definitely got a few things up my sleeve, ones that I have pretty much have to cover. I know you guys want me to talk about them, so I'm going to. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see my last video or my vlog, uh, those are linked right here in the annotation or you can find them in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon right here on ARTV.